I think we found one of the quieter spots around the castle grounds. There's not really too many people here. And we're in the shade. Digby's getting way too hot. I think the castle's one of Colchester's main attractions anyway. And we can't really go anywhere else because obviously Digby can't go inside. So I guess this has worked out quite well. And the weather's really nice today as well. It's a bit hot though. The van said it was about 27, 28, but it's always hotter in the van. I think it's actually around about 23, 24 out in the sun though it's still really hot but oh, we're just chilling out in the shade I thought that as we're in Colchester I might throw a couple of fun facts out there for you so Colchester is actually the first registered city in the whole of England it also has the oldest town walls in England as well which were built by the Romans in AD 60 this is a silly one apparently the oldest hot cross bun in the world which is currently in existence, was baked in Colchester in 1807 and is owned by a couple in Wormingford. That's something a bit random to be famous for. Come on in. As we're doing Essex today and ticking it off the list, I'll give you a couple of fun facts about Essex as well as Colchester. So apparently Essex has got more speed cameras per mile than anywhere else in the world. Maybe a lot of people in Essex speed a lot. I don't really know. Essex has got the largest coastline in the UK, which is 350 miles long. That seems a bit crazy to me. Surely it can't be 350 miles. There's a place called Tiptree, which is famous for making jam. Um, and apparently there's a strawberry that grows there called Little Scarlet Strawberries. It's one of the few places in the world that they actually grow. And it's a strawberry that they use in their famous jam. The largest turf maze in the world can be found at Saffron Walden and apparently it's more than 800 years old. I'm not sure where Saffron Walden is. Um, if we had more time in Essex, then maybe we could go and visit there, but we've got a lot of counties to get through. So unfortunately, I think we're just gonna be making the one stop in each one. <laughs> Calm down, it's just a squirrel. Good boy, good boy. Oh, jeez. 31 degrees in the van. Oh, so hot. You pooped, I'm pooped. It would be nice to explore a little bit more around Colchester, but I just couldn't take Digby, it just wouldn't be fair. I think he's already overheating and exhausted from walking around the castle. Plus, if I had a pound for every time somebody stopped and cooed over Digby and wanted to stroke him, then I'd be a very rich man. It's because he's such a handsome boy, aren't he? Such a handsome boy. We were walking around the castle for about an hour and a half. We've got 20 minutes left until the ticket runs out on the car. I haven't heard anything from Becky yet, but I don't think she'll be finished with work probably for at least another hour, if not two. I don't really know what to do, to be honest with you. This is when we could really do with air conditioning in the van. I've put the fan thingamajiggy on, but it's not the same as having air con. And it's days like this that you just wish you had it. We've been talking about getting air conditioning fitted to the van probably for about six months now, but it's gonna cost around about 2,000 pounds, I think, to get one fitted into the engine. And although that will add to the value of the van, it's just a lot of money to, to drop on one thing. So we never actually got around to doing it, but kind of wish we did now, because it's absolutely roasting. I feel like I should have a snack, but I don't know what to have. We haven't really got a lot, to be honest with you. I really fancy some fruit, like a peach or something. Got some crackers, it's not quite the same, is it? Well, I've got some cranberry juice in the fridge. That might, that might satisfy my 
quench for fruit. Bottoms up. Why do people say bottoms up? Oh, I think it just means like the bottom of the drink goes up and it's just like a drink. Yeah, I guess that was kind of obvious really. I thought it might have meant something more interesting than that, but no, I think that's all it is. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go and pick Becky up from work. I don't know if she'll be finished just yet because she hasn't messaged me, but our parking is going to run out in three minutes. Plus I need to get there as well, so that's going to take me about half an hour. We're not going back to the same campsite though, we're staying at a different one tonight. We're going into Hertfordshire. I don't think I've ever been to Hertfordshire in my life. Um, we've booked a campsite in a place called Whirlwind Garden City, I think it's called. We're somewhat restricted though because a lot of the campsites are fully booked at the moment because it is the middle of August um, and not all of the campsites have everything that we need. Some don't let you have dogs, some of them don't have electricity, some of them don't have toilets, which always amazes me. Um, but I guess if you've got a toilet in your motorhome then that would work. Oh, isn't it? Here we go. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll see you in a bit then. All right, bye. That was quite good timing. That was Becky on the phone saying she's finished. So we're going to go and pick her up. I think we're going to stop off at a shop, get a couple of bits, and then we're going to head off to our next campsite. You ready? That's a good idea. Oh. Oh. The breezes! Yes, we did bring the big fan with us. We didn't realise it was going to be this hot, but we thought it would be warm enough to justify bringing the fan. The ventilation thing we have is okay, but it doesn't really like get you with the fan edge the same way that the fan does. Oh, and it's so nice as well. And Digby loves the breezes. He likes the breezes. Becky's got the van pasta on the go. I've just been and had a quick shower because I was feeling super clammy after spending the whole day out in the sun. I've got good news. The showers don't have push buttons. They've got twisty levers. So you don't get 10 seconds of water. You just get a constant flurry of water and it's amazing. For those of you that visit campsites regularly, you'll know what I mean. The push buttons are just really annoying and you can't enjoy a shower with them really. But yes, welcome to Wellwyn, is it Wellwyn Garden City? I think it's Wellwyn Garden City. We're staying at a campsite called Common Wood uh, Club Site. It's a motorhome and caravan club site. So you have to be a member to stay here, which we are obviously. Um, we're a member of both the camping and caravaning club and the motorhome and caravan club. There's like two different ones. This is my first ever time in Hertfordshire that isn't work related, I think. Um, so looking forward to see what Hertfordshire has to offer and i hope you enjoyed today's video of the colchester castle ticking essex off the list and digby being the ultimate floof boy but if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up we'll catch you guys in the morning until then safe drive stay alive have a lovely day don't spoil your custard we'll see you tomorrow i can <laughs>